You are tuning in to Pinax Radio. Pinax Radio. Living no stone on tent. It's new for any action for my now. Quite but once again, about a few cases where Pinax TV. Now, um, the John Dramani Mahama finally were back. Sir, if you don't have a clue of what is going on in Ghana, then you understand. After the December seventh election, the National Democratic Congress they are saying they won the election legitimately, but this is their claim. Madam Jemez, I happen to be the EC chairperson together with our president Nanado Danka Kufado and MPP bigwigs or Makwatanasi accumulated their own results to favor them. So the results which came out according to NDC, uh, the early polls which were coming to them, and even currently the collated figures in the NDC's coffers, you no know, HSA, they won the election by a far margin. The same margin Akufuado is claiming to have won. That is the margin that the NDC and John Dramani Mahama won. But at the end of the day, that is not what is happening. So based on this, you no, know, as I, I, I set it forth for many demonstrations across the country, we've seen some in Hohoi, we've seen some in the northern parts of Ghana, we've seen some in Accra, we've seen certain chaos and demonstration. At the end of the day, you know, it nearly led to a spat between the civilians and also the Ghana police and the army. I just say, hey, kaka krebi, they will have start at, actually uh, giving away um, an almost to tear gas. And even some could have fired shots. These are all the agitations and the concerns which have come after the election. Like NDC is claiming said they won. Now, following this, no matter what we react, I say the front runner needs to come out and address the issue. That is John Dramani Mahama. But I'm not going to change or be address the issue. No, this was what happened. He came and he said, Please, the demonstration, you, know, you guys should continue and uh, move on. At the end of the day, he said, um, uh, Demonstrate peacefully, peacefully. But don't stop the demonstration. Man, for what what he's doing is just adding more fuel to the fire. This can lead to a uh, yeah, uh, massive chaos, massive riots. At the end of the day, it can lead to war because if people are demonstrating, demonstrating now, MPP forces some more demonstrators. Yeah. These two opposition and uh, these two political parties or more members need to clash it, clash it. Then Ghana or Maseno is that what they want? Following this, John Drummond in Mahama and Newabe Kasa. Through the attacks and things at Ecoson, Wabeka saw the same Bibia to Jar. I'm very shocked. But according to John Dramani Mama in the messenger, you had to be able to screen. So now you watch on you realize say, he is saying something. Say the election now Ecoson still it is fake. The demonstrators from now to the end of next year 2021, you be demonstrating and you near my is room. My man focus at John Mama. Why are you doing this? Why are you spoiling your chances? I just said, what oh, no, you are born, no, will come to that story, give you the details and everything involved in that particular breaking news. Aka is right here on Pinas TV. Now, moving on, so now there's one fire on the mountain. The fire on the mountain all happens to be with Peter Amewu. Peter Amewu is the energy minister. If you don't know currently what is going on, he won the whole voice seat, but we knew you know, he has not been able to be sworn in. Even though he's a legitimate winner, why? Because residents in Akpalu, Lipe, and various uh, constituencies, uh, what the one community in the OT region, you know, that is Obet Maka said, the former voter in the OT region, you know, all of these people are seeing so because a day to the election, electoral commission head office, Ebabe Kachom said, You guys can vote for the president, but you can't vote for the MP. At the end, they are saying that uh, they are going to create a new constituency for all of these six townships. Now, almost so, I mean, own MP. But at the end of the day, that didn't happen. And Amam Fuakasa said, de de denying the people their fundamental right to vote is a crime on its own. So, many can say, you know, uh, the community, no matter what, Chichikata, only a whole magistrate court, and as a whole high court, a whole high court, so at the injunction, and to Peter Mewu, the swearing in a whole court, eh, we shouldn't even declare Peter Mewu as the MP elect for that area. Many can say, NDC, MP before. SU and now only assembly called Supreme Court. I mean, look at the Supreme Court, no, or more the letter about air party say, Who high court in seminal or kind of no, or moon bungu because I'm not be there. So the Supreme Court will be hearing the case that uh, or the dates are banning details. The general for I'll be giving you all the details in regards to that. Now, let's start off with the main update at air course to air Ghana. John Dramani Mahama is not conceding defeat. Indeed, if you think that all of these talks, all of these things are here, canon are taking here. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, he's a dead good. 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 He doesn't even hear what you guys are saying. He has a tip skin or a tough skin. 
to withstand all of these noise and air cause. And then John Drama Nimarama he has set the record straight in regards to the incessant riots, chaos, and things which is going on. What he's saying is that riots need chaos. Let me let me just take the riots and chaos off. The demonstration and then the protest which is going on in Ghana. Now. He's telling each and every Ghanaian, he said, they are not going to stop today or tomorrow. If NDC, uh, if MPP, together with the electoral commission, if they had done their job well, he wouldn't be here today. He won the election by a far margin. You you I'm an MPP. At the end of the one person, one person, one person, one person, one person, one person, hey, okay, I did it. Now, the next, next four years, also until now, the next four years, they are going to do everything possible to get what they rightfully deserve. In the end, we know that the same have two jobs, and some of them have two jobs. When we say on this particular platform, no, dear, uh, we don't just say anything. When we say something, we just go exactly by our way. So, uh, currently, you know, what you see on the screen, this is the message that John Dramani Mahama posted just a few hours ago. This message is detailed. Now, it's here for us, you guys can see on the screen. You know, it is the full detail of what we have here. This is John Dramani Mahama, the official facebook page as you can see verified so i'll be reading along what he posted uh maybe i won't say my highlights you know it's where maybe i won't say my highlighted with screens you know, so it's where uh it's what he posted today at the end of the day you know so i would say penance you know, will give you everything that is involved here now let's start off with what john dramani mahama wrote as you can see on the slot so the national democratic congress has decided to protest to the supreme court to contest the results of the rigged elections of December 7th. Our party said December 7th elections now El Corso. Finally, his party, the members people, are heading to the Supreme Court to contest the election. Say these results that came, these are not the legitimate results. MPP didn't win. NDC won. John Dramani Mahama won. Aside from that, they won a lot of MP seats, but they've taken EC ni MPP. Oma kotsina sa e bako. Omo DC tin bako bako bako. Ama isi adna dani chimpe. Continuing, you know, or purchase it. Cinema highlights was the decision follows a meeting of the National Executive Committee, a uh, neck of our party on Tuesday in Accra. Good. As you can see, and I may highlight so I can flow with me. Uh, Mr. T also, Mr. Trans also, while in court, the NDC will continue all legitimate actions, including protests to demand the enforcement of the rule of law and protection of life and property of the good people of Ghana. Hashtag respect my vote this particular last part is what has triggered a whole lot of things because utina me highlight it on the screen now so was while in court so i'm going to court i could contest the results and whilst they are still in court the ndc will continue all legitimate actions including protests to demand the enforcement of the rule of law and protection of life and property of the good people of Ghana. It's here for and also, hashtag respect my vote. As you can see, this has already close to 1,000 shares and already 3.4k comments. Many likes. Now, Mama Eka said, Omo Kokot, Omo Kokot, and no chair said they are going to stop, stop the demonstration. They are not going to stop the demonstration regardless if COVID 19 is on the rise again, regardless if people, their markets are burning down, regardless. If people are shooting people, people are the, the civilians are standing up with the police and people are getting injured, destroying property. Mahama said he is not going to tell his people to stop. They will go to court, they will still protest and demonstrate. And I'll say hashtag respect my vote. This is John Dramani Mahama speaking. It's you know now Ophi will say hey, all of these things will come to an end. Mahama will come and say, Hey, we are going to court into Adro Bro. Let us see what the court will say. I'm very sorry. The courts, the case will be in the courts. By the end of the day, the protests after Ukraine, you do more fuel. They've added more fuel to the fire. The flames is too burning. I just said, no, can say from now to 2021, we don't know what will happen because this thing is going to trigger something. Definitely, MP before you have high. If you are looking at the people in both political parties, you to say MPP crown or Muni Panadol. So if they should equal and equivocally get up and say that we are protesting. Now, it be a moon now protesting or one community and it be a one constituency. We say it be a a team water MP before protesting, NDC for protesting or moon now could share it here for a being. This is how all of these things have started can lead to wars and chaos and other stuff. Mahama is saying the protest is ongoing to go on, it will never stop until he ascends the throne as the president of the Republic of Ghana and every seat that they want in parliament be given to them. Until then, they are not going to stop. 
It's here for in Sema Ecoso, Ewa Ghana, a Bibri, and Utian idea two screens. No, so I will share what is currently going on. A Yahre was some said Ghana, maybe you do the somebody who always claims that he is a stamp pillar and a pillar for democracy. We don't know if he still stand by that again. Uh, what we are all praying for, say, and come back, make us a bro. Yeah, they are selling our courts, no, or see a court, but assembly, the best and trussel demonstrating making our grievances head and protesting we leave ghana in the hands of god mini shaker because Ukoka definitely people come and attack you say we oh, are mpp nipana you are supporting mpp regardless peter Mewu's case is still ongoing now the history of peter Mewu is so nice we're all happy when you won won the whole whole thing but after the whole whole case now the whole way um magica uvini you know there, there's been a lot of things at Air Corsa. Currently, the, the thing which is going on is a ban is saying various township and Vuti. That is the question. Yama Hohoya Vuti. Be Yama six various Yama six various township and Vuti. All of these uh, township they are in the Vuti region and the Guan community and the former Vuti region. As our community is a mebuti and everybody, they didn't let all of these people vote. And at the end of the day, they came out to say, say hey. Peter Mewu has won the seat. Look at the constituency. Constitu uh, uh, look at the towns. Town B to say San Trophy. Town B to say Akpalu. Akpafu. Town B to say Lipe. Town B to say Lolobi. All of these towns were not able or were not allowed to vote to take part in the, 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 the elections. Particularly, particularly, they were able to vote for the president they won, but they were not able to take part in the parliamentary election. Why? Because they told them, say, you create a constituency among all of these townships and they will have their own MP. But we've not had it. At the end of the day, for am Someone create any constituency among my yes, we to exercise our fundamental right to vote. Then why are you closing the polls? At the end, you're going to You need to say, you be an MP. So based on this, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Constituency home. Huh? Every time it will be be a we winning no. It is either say they will let them vote now or must choose if they want with time on or not. Or they will give them their own MP. We definitely and at their own constituency. We definitely demand for cast. If they give them their own constituency, definitely no. Uh, NDC will also get one because a stronghold of NDC. At the end of the day, the man for or must win the jema. Me no cast. The issue here is with time you you want me. And continue as an MP elect because a ban is on all of these various stands around Bomodi or more and more liquid at Pafu, so Lulubi and at San Trophy. They've all petitioned the courts, that is the whole high court, say, say, this in the courts, I'm a whole high court, or Muti in Sema Chachikata because I'm not here, I'm a lawyer, or the bar court, or Musi no, and Sema Media Bay, and the Every person has a fundamental right to vote. So, based on this, we are going to put an injunction on the swearing in of Peter Miru. In Timino Kasipita Mewu is not the MP. He's the MP elect, but he is not the MP because of the court injunction. A ban is an MP before say what nonsense. Are we the people to tell electoral commission to do their job? If electoral commission didn't let them vote, it is a electoral commission for Masema. Because we you know we don't control the affairs of the electoral commission. In the law, the electoral commission is an autonomous body, which means it deals on its own. Until the political party be a beka and a government beka, it works. As an unbiased, uh, unbiased uh, form of government, and as an unbiased organization, our own demo beyond your yeah, based on its rules and regulations. So if I don't the amount of vote here, and yeah, yeah, man. So based on that, they said, say even the whole high court crown, they don't even have any uh, friendly say, capacity to hear the case. Ah, we call out uh, friendly. They don't have the jurisdiction. Another jurisdiction crown or mudity case no crown is no good. The person and other courts which can hear all election cases, MP presidential, is the Supreme Court. So the state sued and now filed an application to the Supreme Court on this particular case. Say the whole High Court cannot even come and listen to the case and even put injunction on the story in of time. And according to the reports, I have banner, I confirm, you know, the Supreme Court ah or um, um, application which was filed by the state mpp and, the, and this particular administration almost no as some of the banner to assume in the base on that they'll be hearing the case come january 4th to see if indeed the outcome of whole high court if a twas man and at the end of the day the verdict which will come out if peter Mew can, can continue to be the mp for whole uh, sorry Ho -ho or 
they can he can't continue and they have to be a rerun or another election or they have to let the people in all of these townships or want to vote they'll let them vote or they'll create a new constituency for them now these two political parties will go and pick their individual leaders and they'll campaign and then they, they will have another election then they have their own mp which definitely you know because a banana ndc will get the upper hand because a uh, voter region mp ndc stronghold so i'm quite a lesson ndc in your back definitely it's just a close tie and i say ndc can even pick the majority so this is currently what is going on in ghana assembly in same p i only miss right here on this particular platform we will give you all the updates in regards to this particular case and this is what is going on in our, in our beloved country ghana let us know what you think do you think so all of these things going on do you think it's true do you think it's fair do you think it's a test to our democracy or it's a dent on ghana's democracy we are all learning and history is uh, will forever these things is a history which will forever be recorded it will be recorded in the history books in the next 20 or 10 years if a similar issue happens, we can look into the events of this time to solve all future happenings or future cases we will give you more updates as these turn of events unfold right here in our beloved country ghana